Hello again. Just messing around with an idea for walking bass line while playing the melody to All the Things You Are. Last year I did several videos on the tune uh, covering the chord changes on one, the melody, and also the chord melody. But um, as you may remember, or you could go check it out on YouTube, um, All the Things You Are, standard tune, first chord is F minor 7, then to B flat minor 7. These are all a measure each. E flat 7 to A flat major 7. D flat major 7. Again, you can check the old videos. Here we have two beats on D minor 7, two beats on G7, a measure on C major 7, a measure on C6. Then we switch to C minor 7 for a measure, F minor 7 for a measure, B flat 7 for a measure, to E flat major 7 for a measure, A flat major 7 for a measure, a minus 7 2 beats, D7 2 beats, resolving to G. We're not going to go all the way through the tune. I just wanted to present this little simple idea for uh, injecting some walking bass notes. So if you think of the melody, um, one way to play the melody, it's kind of an awkward way, but it's going to fit what we're doing later, would be to play it's a fourth covering the first two strings. last part you could do, you know, F on the 2nd string going to the C major 7 with the E, the 3rd, on top, 2nd string. You could also do it here. F going to a C major 7 with E on top would be, if you play the old 70s, you know, America, Eagles, open C major 7, you get the same effect. So then if you think of what could be a bass line, a very simple bass line for these chord changes, you come up with something like this. That takes us at least through the C major 7. So you get the idea. The walking bass is just you're playing quarter notes, one note per beat. And of course, the, the um, bass line for each chord is based on the chord tones in that chord. So if we try to put the two together, it's kind of uh, a little bit awkward, a little bit difficult. Um, it's not the customary way of doing a walking bass, which would be like if you were accompanying on this tune, you could do something along the lines of... seen this. Okay, that would be an accompanying walking bass and, and consisting largely of chords. This is different. This is, um, it's kind of more separate in a way. So we could start here. We're going to cover with the pinky, first two strings, fourth fret, and we're going to have a F bass note on the sixth string. So you're going to be <clears throat> plucking with your fingers. Um, I find it easier than trying to do the hybrid picking thing with this. Anytime it's a little bit complicated, I, I like to just have no pick at all and just be able to be free to use my fingers. So we're going to pluck only the sixth string along with the first two. So what I'm doing is I'm holding legato, these two notes. Now I'm going to play an open fifth string. That's my next bass note on the way up to this. Same thing I just did down on the first fret for F minor 7. We're going to do the same formation now on the 6th fret for B flat minor 7, the 2nd chord in the tune. So here we go. Here's that E flat 7. And then here's A flat major 7. We're going to hold the bottom note, string 6, fret 4. Here comes our D flat major 7. My root is D-flat on the 5th string, 4th uh, fret. Now we've got the D minor 7. Okay, I'm barring the first 5 strings, and my bass note is 5th string, 5th fret. I'm going to play the open E to F. Now I'm going to play open 4th string D along with a 1st string F. So it looks a little weird, because it is a little weird, but I'll try it again. Um, it's just kind of a simple way of trying to marry the, the basic melody to a basic bass line, basic bass line. So here we go. Okay, 
seven. Let me do that again, the E flat seven. That's it. Okay, let me try that again. That's it. All this is, I'm holding that, um, you know, beginner's kind of open chord, C major seven. I'm holding the chord except for the fifth string. I'm walking down from C, B, A, and then sixth string, G, F, E, F, G. So even if you just get this nugget for today, it's, it's an idea you can apply to lots of different tunes. Here we go again. The F minor seven. Then if we continue, it'll be C minor seven. I'm sorry, C, C minor seven again. F minor seven. B flat seven. E flat major seven. Okay, so let's just try to get that first chunk. Uh, I'll kind of do it the way I did last year's All the Things videos. Uh, a piece at a time. So last time through, remember you're doing the finger picking technique. Most of the time you're grabbing with the thumb either the sixth or the fifth strings and you're using the first two or three fingers for the chord. So here we go. Last time. Tiny bit more. C minor seven. Now the root is on the fifth string, third fret. We're gonna hold the chord, use the pinky to walk up. Okay, so on the C minor seven again. F minor seven. B flat seven. Here, I'm not gonna have to move the left hand at all. I'm just gonna walk you through, talk you through the, uh, the bass notes. So we've got the basic B flat seven. Now, when you do the B flat seven, you wouldn't normally have to do this, but bar covering the sixth string as well. So here we go. The bass played by the thumb is going to play fifth string, sixth string, fifth string, and then the fourth string. So again, this B flat seven chord, you know, you're barring, and you got string two, and you've got string four, but we're going to throw a little bass bass thing in there too. So when you bar cover all six, and we've got fifth string, sixth string, fifth string fourth string and then we've got a an open voiced E flat major 7 so let's just take it to there for today um, walking bass idea playing the melody at the same time for all the things you are Okay, etc. etc. We'll do more on this next time. It's all the things you are trying to get a walking bass going. Um, okay, if you find it useful, if it gives you an idea you hadn't had before, or if it helps you playing in any way, uh, consider subscribing. Um, hit the bell so you'll be notified of my next video. And I've got probably about 75 videos covering standard tunes, uh, a little bit of rock, um, a lot of solo guitar stuff, a lot of chord melody. Uh, ideas and also ideas for soloing. So give me a like if you, if you like it and subscribe and see you soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.